trade was the kind of like a, a, a set time since I played like that. But I think I also had some switch in my head to like okay. being more aggressive and like um, there was some conversation with that I had that I'm not going to mention the names and what we talked about in the team that kind of triggered me and made me take some things personal and and I um, and since then I kind of I kind of changed the mindset. So I want to ask you about your relationship with Porzingis. Describe just kind of like y'all's your relationship. Um, I waited for like a European guy that had the same <laughs> steps as I took as a young kid yeah. and you know we like you can say like not a similar personality but we both like kind of grew up and like we we think like the same sometimes and like it's just you, you never know how you connect with people so good so um i'm just glad i have him like he helps me out a lot and he makes me have fun this year which with a lot of situations so you know um, whether going to restaurants or when did it coffee. start? Did it start in Japan? Did it start? Uh, I don't know. I can't really say something. It, it started like we had the like good relationship even like last year, kinda. But it like it just grew with the time, and as more we like the more we hanged out, the more it grew, and it's like always. It's make it more easier even to play on the court when you are such a good connection with somebody, right? But. Uh, I can say, hands down, on all my teammates, that's probably the best environment I've had in like terms of like meeting people and friends and stuff. When you take the ball off the rim and you push it, <laughs> it seems like you play with so much joy when you can get the rebound and just go down on the other end. What's that like for you? I feel you? like I'm in an open world. I feel like I can do so many things. And um, I see everybody. And you know, when I go to the rim, I see the, the, my teammates on the right or left, and if I feel like there's a small guy inside, I'd rather take the layup. Right. But if they're open, I'm gonna always hit them, and just create action. You know, create something. You know, a lot of times I feel like our offense is like a little stuck, and that's why a lot of times I go upset screens or go or like flip the screen or you know trying to make some like trying to you know create some movement. And um, I think I'm doing a better job with that.